Sleep apnea is as common as adult diabetes and asthma. Roughly one in 20 Americans have some form of sleep disordered breathing. Roughly 90% of people with sleep disordered breathing are undiagnosed. To discuss the adverse health consequences of OSA, we have Dr. Kingman Stroll, Professor of Medicine at Case Western Reserve University. Hello, Doctor, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Dr. Stroll, what happens if you don't recognize and treat sleep apnea? Well, people have trouble staying awake during the daytime. They have inattention, they're irritable, and that's because they don't get refreshing sleep. They don't get, they have problems with waking up at night, they have problems with apneas at night, and they have problems with, with just not getting uh, their proper night's sleep. So the inattention and the sleepiness that occurs during the day is one of the major signs of sleep apnea. Doctor, I certainly know how lousy I feel after just one night of poor sleep. Certainly I feel more prone to accidents, but can you tell me a little bit how this affects the heart? Well, the apneas during sleep relate to, you wake up to be able to break from those apneas. The apneas also produce falls in oxygen level, increases in CO2. They stress your heart in three ways. The first thing it does is that during the apnea itself, blood pressure can rise. Secondly, your heart rate can increase, increasing blood pressure as well as heart rate. And the hypoxemia can cause the release of stress hormones. These lead to increased blood pressure during sleep and increased blood pressure the next day and can contribute to the development of high blood pressure, stroke, as well as heart failure. Can effective treatment relieve pressure to the heart? Yes, it can. The key is stopping the apneas. If you stop the apneas, you stop the fall in oxygen level, you don't need to ha wake up to be able to restore your, your breathing, and you have uninterrupted sleep, and you cause your cardiovascular as well as your sleep-wake physiology to go back more towards normal. 